This video is part of my instructional series, Coupling Trailer Tutorial. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment on any questions you may have or future videos you'd like to see from me. Uh, I'm pulling up to a trailer where I am going to be taking to another destination from my Amazon facility. And I'm doing this video to show you guys how to properly hook onto a trailer and some of the tricks and techniques that I use. This is one of many more videos to come. I know this, you guys should know that this is peak season, so I've been a little busy and it's kind of hard to uh, produce a lot of these videos while while it's uh, very busy on the road. But I also have a pre-trip inspection video I'm getting ready to drop soon. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys. Also, please be aware and look out for an ebook that I'm about to drop is called Trucking 101, the complete A to Z guide to trucking. And that's gonna have a lot of information that you guys are gonna need in the trucking industry. A lot of informative information for you guys. So today we're gonna talk about a topic that's very important in the trucking industry. This is called coupling and uncoupling. Coupling is when you're hooking on, uncoupling is when you're unhooking from the trailer. Now the trailer is the back part, which is the area where the load is in. Uh, I do a lot of power only uh, freight, which means I just carry the truck itself. And I come to the destination, I do my pickups and transport that load to its destination. I stopped here in this, in this position because it is important to note that um, when you're backing into the trailer, a lot of times people don't even look at how high the trailer is or how low, and they'll just back up into it directly, which can cause for you to damage these flaps against the trailer because it's not gonna feel the pressure of hitting the fifth wheel and slowing down, and it's just gonna ram into the trailer. So that's very important that you look at that when you're uh, coupling and uncoupling. So I'm gonna go over there to this area and I'm gonna bring it down by rocking these legs down. We're gonna, we're gonna, talk, uh, I'm gonna show you that process as well. So we're gonna start off by showing you how to operate properly the landing gear. This is the crank handle. This handle basically you switch from left to right. Uh, all landing gears are different, so it may go up or down. This and that's going to control that bottom part of the landing gear, which is going to rise it up towards the trailer. But as you can see, that handle, if you turn to the left or to the right, may go up or down. It all depends on the trailer. All trailers are different. All make some models are different. This one in particular, it's left to rise and right to go down. And most of them are of that rotation but sometimes you might find them in the passenger side sometimes you might find them in the driver's side it all depends on the trailer it depends on the make and it also depends on i guess the manufacturer but right now what i'm doing is i'm cranking up the legs i'm cranking them down actually so i could back the trailer in because initially in the video if you saw the trailer was high up and i didn't want to uh damage the flaps on the side of the trailer so as you can see right now the trailer is in the hooked in position to the semi and we're going to go down here to the space you can see there is no space between the trailer and the fifth wheel the pin is inserted in if it were not properly in the pin would be pulled out still meaning it didn't click in but i also like to check here and you can see the actual lock on the kingpin. You, the video, you really can't see it, but I saw it with my personal eye. But I like to check also. So now that we're backed in, we're going to raise the landing gear on a proper level.
So normally, the lines will be on that black uh, pouch, which holds the lines in the back of the trailer. That's the normal proper attachment for them. I had unhooked them beforehand because I'm holding the phone in my hand. So, but they get attached to these back part, which is in the, uh, on the trailer. The gray one is the electrical that, that controls the lights on the trailer. And that's um, then the blue one goes on the blue socket. These are the air lines. And the red one will go on the red one. Once they're both properly attached, that means that the trailer is properly attached to the semi. And the brake lines are attached. And that and you can safely operate the vehicle. So once hooked up directly, your final results should look like this, and you're ready to roll.